The first thing we need to do is remove the brake spring. I do that by sticking a screwdriver in one end and prying it off with another flathead. So you need to remove the small E-clip in order to access the brake parts. I use a flathead small screwdriver to break it free and then I come in with a needle nose pliers to pull it out the rest of the way so I don't drop it. The brake mechanism is in there tight so just take a screwdriver and just pry it gently just to break everything free. Be sure not to bend anything. Once you hear the mechanism snap off of that stud, then you're free to go. You can wiggle that brake handle till it comes off the other stud. So you don't need to remove any of the brake bands. You just need to be able to pull up that mechanism far enough where you can lock it back into the brake handle. Just align the metal holes with the plastic holes so that way they fit on the stud. In order to get that brake handle to seat, you're going to have to pry back part of that mechanism to release a gap so that way that tooth on the plastic fits in there and locks into place. Once you have the two pieces aligned, I just take a small hammer and just lightly give it a few taps so that way the pieces slide in properly. So this is a tight fit. You're going to have to work it back and forth, uh, move that plastic, move that piece down below the plastic, and just continue to lightly tap and work them back and forth until it seats all the way in there properly. Once you get the majority of this plastic piece over that stud, then you're going to want to align the other linkage there on the end on the second stud. And then once both of those are aligned, then you can push both pieces down at the same time and it should snap into place. After everything's seated in place, go ahead and take that E-clip and put it back on there. Make sure not to lose it and snap it right back on. So the final step is reinstalling the spring. It's pretty easy to do. Just go ahead and lay it over the brake handle, grab a pair of needle nose pliers, and pull the end over the stud. I like to check and make sure that the brake handle functions before I put the cover back on. So just go ahead and move it back and forth a few times. So when you're putting the sprocket back on, notice a little cut in the side of the sprocket. So that needs to line up with the worm gear that's underneath it. Uh, if it isn't lined up, then you're not going to be able to seat that properly. Once the sprocket and worm gear are lined up, it should just fall right back down and lock into place. Reinstall the sprocket, washer, and e-clip. Reinstall the recoil assembly.